Walls Nature. Disclaimer: This video is intended for entertainment purposes only. It is not meant to be taken seriously or as a reflection of reality. Please view this video with discretion. The haunted Haveli of Harihar, nestled amidst the lush greenery and winding rivers of ancient India, lay the quaint village of Harihar. Life in Harihar was simple and serene, with its inhabitants living in harmony with nature and each other. But beneath the village's tranquil facade lurked a chilling secret, a tale that had been whispered down through generations, sending shivers down the spines of even the bravest villagers. At the outskirts of Harihar stood a magnificent but decaying haveli, an imposing structure that had once been the grand residence of a powerful raja. Over time, the haveli had fallen into disrepair. Its once vibrant walls now shrouded in an eerie silence. Its windows, like vacant eyes staring out into the world, locals avoided the haveli, speaking of it in hushed tones, for they believed it was haunted by the restless spirit of its former master, a cruel and heartless ruler who had met a tragic end within its walls. The story of the haunted haveli was a cautionary tale, passed down from parents to children. A reminder of the consequences of greed and cruelty. It was said that the Raja of Harihar, driven by an insatiable thirst for wealth and power, had amassed his riches through deceit and oppression. He ruled with an iron fist, silencing dissent and crushing the spirits of his people. One fateful night, as the Raja reveled in his opulent chambers, unaware of the brewing storm, a group of villagers, driven to desperation by his tyranny, stormed the haveli. They confronted the raja, their voices echoing through the vast halls, demanding justice for their suffering. The raja, caught off guard, tried to flee, but the villagers cornered him, their anger boiling over. In the ensuing chaos, the raja stumbled and fell, his head hitting the sharp corner of a marble staircase. He lay there motionless, his eyes wide with shock, his life ebbing away. The villagers, shocked by their actions, scattered in fear. Leaving the Raja's lifeless body in the silent haveli. From that day forward, the haveli was said to be haunted by the Raja's restless spirit. His vengeful ghost, unable to find peace, wandered the halls. His presence felt in the cold drafts that swept through the rooms, the creaking of doors, and the unsettling silence that hung over the haveli like a shroud. Years passed, and the tale of the haunted haveli became a legend, a part of Harihar's folklore. Children would gather around bonfires, their eyes wide with fear, as elders recounted the chilling story of the raja and his restless spirit. The haveli stood as a stark reminder of the village's dark past, a constant warning against the dangers of greed and injustice. One sweltering summer afternoon, a group of curious children decided to venture into the forbidden haveli. They were a motley crew: Rayu, the fearless leader, always eager for an adventure. Lada, the smart and resourceful one, always ready with a plan, and timid little Manu, who tagged along despite his fear, drawn by the thrill of the unknown. As they approached the haveli, the children felt an unsettling chill run down their spines. The air grew heavy and oppressive, and the silence was broken only by the occasional rustle of leaves or the distant call of a crow. Undeterred, they pushed open the creaking gate and stepped into the haveli's courtyard. The courtyard was overgrown with weeds, and the once grand fountain lay empty, its basin cracked and covered in moss. The children exchanged nervous glances as they ventured deeper into the haveli, their footsteps echoing through the cavernous halls. Suddenly, a cold gust of wind swept through the haveli, sending a shiver down their spines. A door creaked open, and a ghostly figure emerged from the shadows. The children gasped in horror as the figure glided towards them, its eyes glowing with an eerie blue light. Ryu, ever the brave one, stepped forward, trying to appear calm despite his fear. "Who are you?" he asked, his voice trembling slightly. The figure floated closer, its translucent form shimmering in the dim light. "I am the spirit of Harihar," it replied in a voice like the rustling of leaves. I am bound to this haveli, forever trapped within its walls. The children listened in awe and a hint of fear as the spirit recounted its tale, a tale of greed, betrayal, and a tragic end. The raja of Harihar had been a cruel and unjust ruler, 
who had amassed his wealth through deceit and oppression. One fateful night, his own subjects had rebelled against him, and he had met his end within the Haveli's walls, his spirit forever trapped within its decaying walls. The children felt a pang of sympathy for the restless spirit, but they also knew that they had to free it from its eternal torment. Lada, the smart one, devised a plan. They would gather the villagers and tell them the spirit's story, hoping that together they could find a way to break the curse that bound it to the Haveli. The children left the Haveli, their hearts filled with a mixture of fear and determination. They spread the word throughout Harihar, telling the villagers of the haunted Haveli and the restless spirit that dwelled within its walls. At first, the villagers were skeptical, dismissing the children's tale as mere superstition. But as the children recounted the spirit's story with heartfelt sincerity, the villagers began to believe them. They remembered the Raja's reign of terror his cruelty and injustice, and they felt a deep sense of regret for their past inaction. Together, the villagers decided to help the restless spirit find peace. They gathered around the Haveli, chanting prayers and mantras, their voices rising in a harmonious chorus. The spirit, sensing their genuine compassion, appeared before them. Its form no longer menacing, but filled with a glimmer of hope, with the villagers' help. The children performed a series of rituals, guided by an ancient wisdom passed down through generations. They offered the spirit a symbolic offering of forgiveness, acknowledging its past transgressions while recognizing its desire for redemption. As the final ritual was complete, a brilliant light filled the courtyard, and the spirit of Harihar began to fade. With a final, grateful nod to the villagers and children, the spirit vanished, leaving behind a lingering sense of peace and tranquility. The Haveli of Harihar was no longer haunted. The villagers had faced their past, acknowledged their mistakes, and helped a restless spirit find peace. The tale of the haunted Haveli became a reminder of the importance of compassion, forgiveness, and the collective power of a community united in purpose. Thank you to all of you viewers on the World's Nature YouTube channel for watching this story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this story, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the World's Nature channel. Your likes and subscriptions help us to create more great content for you. Take care and goodbye.